Good morning, everybody. Silas back today. We are off on another adventure, and it's really nice right now, actually. It, this is the coolest day we've had in quite a while, and so it's the perfect opportunity for me to go do a cleanup job. Now, most of the vehicles of this place are already gone. You guys have seen some of the stuff. Uh, I forget when I even posted that video, but it's been a little while back. But anyway, I've got Sean and Jason coming to help. I'm going to have to hook up to my trailer. I'm going to load a truck bed on my trailer, a big full-size truck bed with sides on it, because we've got a whole bunch of little stuff to get cleaned up. So that's enough talking about it. I'll just see you when I get out there. Here we go. We are ready to get started. All sorts of goodies. I took the trailer, backed it up around, backed it right up in here, threw that, that bed on there so we can just stack most of it in there. We've got all sorts of random stuff. No clue what most of it goes to. I think these old fenders, they're cool, but I'm not entirely sure what they go to. But there's old shitty fenders, old hubcaps, old headlights. More fenders, there's bunches of doors. There's a grill shell down there. Somewhere there was another grill. Oh, right here. Old Plymouth. A lot of this stuff is really, really rusty, like this old cow piece here. And so a lot of this may not may not make the cut. But these headlights, they all go for art. The grills, the doors, a lot of that stuff. These old axle housings, those are neat. As far as actual parts value, most of the stuff has been sitting out here for too long and it's trash at this point in time. But for art value, there's still a lot of a lot of good stuff here bunch of old bumpers there's a manifold that might be something good old steering wheel that one's kind of cool so it's hard telling what all we'll find in here I'm going to just try to organize it put all like all the headlights in one pile all the hubcaps in a pile and the smaller body parts we'll put in here if it's like real big stuff I can probably stack it on the front of the trailer but it loops all the way around here's an old 54 Chevy truck front clip and this is off of a pickup too so that might be something good there Looks like another grill over there. A neat old hood. That's a really neat old hood. Looks like a, what is that? Oldsmobile or Buick? Looks like a Buick. We come around to this side. There's another big pile of parts over here. Old hood. Has a cool hood ornament on it. Looks like a Ford maybe. Some doors. Some more hubcaps down here. Whole bunch of hubcaps in here they go all the way up in there there's a side off of a hood there that looks pretty neat there's a spare tire carrier i'm not sure what all is in here some windmill parts and then some really old doors here more hoods more grill parts and there's the the uh, hood and grill off of an old semi over there so i'm hoping we can get it all in one load if we have to stack it we'll stack it but uh like I say, if it's just rusty junk, I'm going to leave it behind and he's going to throw it in the scrap container later. But we're going to try to get all the good stuff out of here in one load if at all possible. That's the plan. I got a bunch of vehicles out of here, a bunch of cool ones. There's one left over here, but it had a tank on it and the tank fell off. And so he's got to roll that tank off of it to get the truck out of there. But we're going to get started on it as we find really neat stuff. I'll uh, get the camera out and show it to you guys. Some stuff like this hood here. It's it's rotted to nothing. This hood's never usable for anything, but like for art, if a guy trimmed it up a little bit, you could make an awning over your doorway out of that. Just stuff like that. So we'll go through it, see what all we can find. Already found something cool. Hang this on the seat, and your kid could ride on it. it has a little shifter. Had a string wheel on it at one point in time. That way your kid could just ride right in the front seat with you. That way when you slam into somebody else and you go through the windshield, they can go through the windshield with you. At first I thought maybe it would like hang on your shoulders. But uh, it's kind of heavy and awkward for that. So I bet you this, Sean was saying this would hang on a seat. And that makes sense to me. Especially with the string wheel and the shifter and all that stuff. So definitely an interesting automotive accessory. That would be greatly frowned upon today. What do we got in here? I didn't even know there was stuff in this pile. All sorts of stuff down in here. Some cool old headlights. 1967. Yep, 1967. This would be a 60... Another, the 64, okay, that's right. A little bit different color of blue. This is gonna be a 66, I think. Seven, oh, 74, okay. 66 is black, that's right. Oh, here's a 59. There's a neat one. Here's another 59. Yeah, there's some cool tags in there. 
What do we got down here? Oh, here's another one. 68. Bunch of cool Kansas tags. This must have been the tag pile at one point. Here's a tag box. Here's a uh, 60. Yeah, here's a 66. I knew they were black. Just took me a second to remember. Black and white. 68 with black and yellow. Found all sorts of good stuff in here. Check this thing out we found a second ago. If you know what this is, let me know in the comments. I have no clue, but that is the coolest thing. That almost looks like a logo off of Star Wars or something like that. That would make it really cool if you turn that into like a helmet made at the face. Yeah, if you took it and mounted it like that on a helmet, that would make it really cool. <laughs> face guard. Okay, we found another whatchamacallit. We don't know what it is. We need you guys to help identify it. What is this thing? It says something on it. It says, J.C. Moore, Racing, Wisconsin. And a patent date of 1908. No clue what it is. So if you know what it is, let me know in the comments. Let's see what else is in this pile. Oh. More tags. A 62. Another 67. What's this, a 70? Yeah, this is a 70. What's this? This is interesting. Oh man, it's too bad it's so rotted. Check that heater out. That thing is so cool. Looks like the faceplate is actually still good on it, so we'll save it. Because if somebody needs that faceplate, I'm sure it's unobtainium. That's a very cool heater. I don't know what it goes to, but... It's a shame this stuff sit out, sit out here in the trees for 40 years or longer. But it is what it is. If they would have sold it 40 years ago, I wouldn't be getting nothing right now. So <laughs> I'll take what I can get. There's a bunch of neat stuff. It's just all super rough. But lots of good arts and hanging on the wall type stuff. Big old pile of headlights. Most of them are junk. There are a few decent ones. There's a few headlight rings, things like that. A few good brackets. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Doing a little bit of remodeling on the house so we can access the stuff under there without a wall collapsing on us. Sean did some tree work over here. I haven't even been over here yet, so we'll see what we can find. Anything good? Oh, here's a trunk lid. Oh, check that out down there. What is that? What does that say? Fluid drive? Must be Mopar. That's pretty neat right there. Another grill shell. Bunches of doors. Oh, this is the back side from over there. Okay, I see. I see what's going on now. But yeah, there's some neat stuff in here too. So there's a lot more stuff than I thought there was. Looks like a Metropolitan fender down there, Nash. Check out this wheel down here. It's six lug, but it's got some sort of chrome sheet over it. It's kind of interesting. It's rusted out on the other side. It's no good, but i just never seen a, a wheel quite like that. Another old wheel. Bunches of old wheels. That in there might be salvageable. Check this out. Got some nice guards over here. Real nice guard set up. Not sure what that's off of, but that's a cool one, that's for sure. What is this nose off of? This is a neat one, though. I can't even tell what it is. It's definitely a cool piece. Here's some good looking guards on this bumper. Yeah, we'll do a little bit more work on this house. I guess this was a house. I thought it was a shed, but he said it was a house once upon a time. This is where they stored all the swap meat stuff. Uh oh, the boss came to check on us. Is that truck any good? You guys like that truck? Does it smell different than what you're used to? Yep, they came to check on us to see how we're doing. I was just checking to see if there was any bulls, but I don't see any bulls, so back to work we go. Found a whole crate of random stuff. This is probably off the back of a seat. Somebody could grab it to get in the car or hold onto the seat. There's a whole crate of stuff down here, so. Well, there's a bunch of cans of stuff in here too, so hard telling what we'll find. What's that say? Ushers. Out of an old church or something, probably. That's kind of cool. Gonna have to hang on to that. Some people travel around the world digging out dinosaur bones. We just go out in the middle of a farm and dig out dinosaur car bones. 
There's a whole bunch of emblems or something up in here, so we're gonna rake it all over here and dig through it. This is like Christmas. Digging all sorts of good, st good stuff out of here. This can here is clear full of 52 Chevy parts. There's the ID tag off the car. There's a clock oh, surround in there. Oh. oh, there we go. Hood ornament. Oh, there it is. There it is. What do we got here? Oh, there's the other armrest. The other armrest with ashtray. There we go. Those are sought after. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good this. piece. <laughs> yeah, the corner piece. Know, that's a good piece. <laughs> yeah. Most of the stuff I have no clue, but I, I somewhat know early 50 Chevy stuff. Yeah, that come off that come off the other armrest. Oh, there's the other yeah. turn signal. The other turn signal. Oh, there's the deluxe logo. What else we got down here? Anything good? It's just like archaeology. Oh, a whole pile of all sorts of random stuff. Looks like an engine wiring harness. The stone guards. Oh, and look at those guards. We can get that out. It's still in the box. Someone protected. The spiders kept it guard. There's a brown recluse over there. Get out of everybody's way. They're a little on the beat up side, but they'll they'll fix. Looks like oh, there's the rest of the dash parts. They must have parted out a '52 Chevy. Two door. Too bad the rest of the car wasn't out here somewhere. Oh, there's some good pieces. Yes. Yeah. All sorts of goodies. What's the cap say? I don't know. It says. What does that say? Lincoln? Yeah, Lincoln. Oh, That's an old Lincoln. That's a nice one there. Look at how heavy duty that is compared to the old Fords over there. When this stuff was put in here, that stuff wasn't rare. That's a good one. Check this out. Found an old koozie. It says the Ashland Fighting Blue Jays. <laughs> Looks like it has an old crush can inside it still. They were probably in here drinking and probably set that down and that's where it sat for the rest of forever. More old hubcaps, Pontiacs, Mercury's, you name it. Well, we're making pretty good progress through here. Just kind of digging everything out, organizing it first, see what we're dealing with, and then we'll start stacking it in the dumpster once we get it all somewhat organized. And that's a shame on this heater here, an old Goodyear. That's a high dollar heater. I've sold those before in good condition. I think I got two and a half out of the last one I sold. Obviously this one here is a piece of junk, but uh, the Goodyear logo is still savable and maybe a couple of these little knobs. So there's definitely some good parts on there. We're coming along making piles of parts and pieces. There's a pair of these Chevy headlights here. And they're not in too terrible a condition, so I think those are repairable. We found a whole bunch of these. This one actually has the writing on it still. I have one of these and I thought it was rare. And now we found four of them in here. <laughs> That's pretty cool there. And we found a whole pile of delete plates. Some of them say heater, some say radio. What's left of an old hood. The hood's junk, but the chrome strip's still decent. Let's see what else we got down in here. Must have been a box of something right here. Oh, look at this. Whole bunch of tags. Oh, this is the good tags too. These are the low numbers. 56, 57, 55. Oh, look at this. A whole run of, are these all 68s? I bet you they are. A whole run of 68s. No A matching way. pair, 54s. Oh, now we're out of the three se sequentials. 58. Good. A bunch more sequentials. Man, yeah, that's pretty cool. All these low low numbers. This matching pair here of low numbers is probably worth something. I wish the other 55 was there, but that's pretty cool there. Hard telling what else is in here. And just found these 53s. For those that don't know, that aren't from Kansas, uh, in 1951, I believe, was the last year they made full size tags, the ones that are shaped like Kansas, and then in 52, 53. They uh, made these little tags to go on them because of the metal shortage. And here we go. This is a 1944 T. It's a truck. And we caught a snake that doesn't like me. Come here. There we go. Little tiny itty bitty snake. We'll take him over here where he can be safe and not get stepped on. 
Like I've mentioned before on my channel, we don't have venomous snakes around here in this area. So anytime you find a snake, you don't hurt it, you just let it go because hopefully he'll get bigger and he'll either eat the crickets that I hate because they're annoying or he'll eat the mice that I hate because they're annoying. And then check these out. Somebody made their own fender skirts from scratch. Somebody spent a lot of time working on those. They didn't do too bad of a job. I'm gonna save them. If somebody needed a pair of fender skirts or something, they could work those and make them work. There's a bunch of this stuff would have been really nice even, even 20 years ago, but it's junk now. Let's check this out. Looks like something off a bumper. If you know what that goes to, let me know. I'm guessing that's something like off of a bumper. Maybe like a Cadillac and have the big knob sticking out on it. Something like that. Check out this barrel. I thought this was kind of cool. It says, serving over 100 countries of the free world since 1922. TRC. There's some more good Fords. Yeah, these Fords sell for pretty good money. And they're stainless, so being in here in the dirt doesn't hurt them. The mystery is, is what does this trunk lid go to? I'm gonna guess Chevrolet. Is there anybody at home? Something lives down in there, or used to live down there. He's about to lose his home now. Which is unfortunate for him, but not my problem. Okay, I think that's the last of the hubcaps. We're about to find out what this trunk lid went to once upon a time. Hey, I was right. Chevy. That probably honestly went to that 52. <laughs> that's a good piece there, though. Check out this Dodge down here. This is one of my favorite hubcaps. I love these. I'm going to my collection there. There is stuff hiding everywhere. Pontiac. And another beauty ring. Another funky beauty ring. I think those are Fords. There's several funky beauty rings in here. Like that's a beauty ring there and it's heavy metal. That's a heavy metal beauty ring. That was junk. Yeah, that's right what is that? Oh, Packard Clipper. This is Clipper on it. Packard and Clipper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Another old Dodge, Buick, Pontiac. Oh, look, a pair. And check out these, how they have the fake wire. Those are really cool. I've actually never seen them like that before. Those will clean up nice, too. Huh. That's really cool how they have the fake stuff. Oh, there we go. Floor shifter. That's a nice one, too. It's kind of on the rough side, but man, if the guy could get that to free up. I've never seen a pistol grip like that. I can get it. I just try to hit the right button with my gloves on. I just wanted you to make sure you get ready. There we go. I got it. Where are we going? Just lean it over to the side and we'll... Are those T doors? What are these? They're old. Old doors. Yeah. Those are neat. Once again, if you know what they are, let me know. They look like some sort of roadster door. We are slowly making progress. We went through all the doors, picked out the junkers and the keepers, trying to get this roof off of here now so we can get to the rest of the stuff. There's a few good pieces left in there. A few other things out here. Looks like a two door pair of two door seats there. Probably junk now. What do we got here? I'll check that out. And that's the good one too. That's the all metal one. Because they made these that were uh, plastic centers, but that's, there's the all metal center. Sure, that's a good one. And I've got one of these centerpieces I never knew what it went to. Now I do. We're gonna start us up a roofing company. Professional work. Here's all the window garnishes. If they ain't rusted, better save them. My dad will want them. I kicked this chrome over the rest of the way. Found the remnants of an old grill under here. Don't know exactly what it goes to, but it's neat. Slowly but surely making our way through here. Oh man. Oh, there's a, another rock guard. Whatever that was at one time. Basketball hoop? Maybe. I don't know. Kind of looks like it. Headlight ring. What else we got in here? Oh, the center out of a bumper. More centers out of bumpers. Oh, check that out. It's broken, but still, all the brackets are still on it. With the mirror. And the mirror on it. 
Where would that mount? I don't know. That's definitely interesting. Oh, there's the other half of it. I don't know if a guy could do something with that or not, but gives you an idea of size. What if that's some sort of like, oh, I know what that is. That's for if you have like a car without a windshield or a Jeep or something like that, you mount this up on front of it and then you have a sun visor and a rear view mirror for a vehicle without a windshield. Oh, look. There's the that center. That's a guide. Flip it over where your hand is. Other side. Oh, I see. Slide. Oh, slide. Yeah, it was close to guide. So that's that might be something there. We'll keep all the pieces together. Yeah. What is that? A spotlight? Almost looks like a spotlight. Oh, that ain't coming out. That goes right through the tree. <laughs> Been here for a little bit. There's another fender skirt. Check that bad boy out. I'm not sure what these bumper centers go to. They're all brand new, it looks like, or they were anyway. Yeah, I think this seat frame is probably toast. That's too bad, too, because that would have been a pretty valuable piece. Oh, that's cool. Plymouth. Oh, look at the little varnish. That's a cool one. Check this bad boy out. Now, this one's a piece of junk. It's all rusted out, but just so cool with the directional turn signal with the little shield on it. I'm going to save it just so people can see what they look like. And you know, that's not that hard to make if a guy wanted to make one of those himself. Got whatever this is out. Looks like a spotlight would be my opinion of what that is. It's not in too bad a shape. I think it's, I think it's something somebody could work with. We'll hang on to it. I kind of want to see what this trunk is down here now that we've got it dug out. At first I thought this was just a fuel tank, but this is the trunk. What's it say? Eagle Lock. I'm sure it's rusty, but how rusty is it is the question. Unfortunately, it is rusted out really bad up here in this front corner. That's too bad. I'll do a little bit of research. I mean, if it's super valuable, someone could always fix that, but we'll see. Here we go. Let's see what this trunk lid is. I know it's a fluid drive. It's Mopar, but let's see what condition all this chrome is in. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's a cool piece there. Chrysler. Well, we're making progress, really good progress, honestly. Packing it in here nice and tight. Got enough room up here for all the doors. Yep, yeah, they're on the other side. Got some more room in the middle to stack some more. The axles are gonna go on the front of the trailer. This is all gonna go in the back of the truck. I do wish we would've found the other one of these pieces, but that's okay. There's a few odds and end pieces left laying around over there yet. We'll get those out in a second. Just dug out these barrels, so we're gonna see what's inside them. Oh, more hubcaps. <laughs> hubcaps, some gauges. Looks like a horn. Yeah, more gauges. So yeah, looks like some more good stuff in there. And then here's another barrel yet, so it's hard telling what's in there. More hubcaps. There's a good one. If it ain't rusted out, no, that's still good. That'll go in the, the good pile. I think the I think they were a stove. What in the world? interesting one there. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that one. One of these isn't quite like the others. We were wrong. It's not off a, a uh, windmill. It's a sign. It says Colonial House Family Style Dining. Dinner, parties, banquets, conventions. 450, 450 capacity. I'm guessing wherever it was at was listed on this sign here. You can almost read it down at the bottom. And then whatever was on the top sign is long gone. So a little bit of junk there, but this sign here is definitely worth saving. Okay, somehow, some way, I've got to get through all these raspberry bushes to get to that semi front clip. Oh, here's a bunch of ripe ones. The ones I was eating earlier weren't ripe yet. Find some that the bugs haven't got to yet. And I think we're about done. Got a bunch of the small trinket stuff in the back of my truck here. Got that semi nose loaded up. It's an old Rio is what it is. It's just kind of neat. 
I couldn't see leaving it behind. And we got this thing packed clear full. Got all the doors and hoods, hubcaps, headlights, grill parts, windmill parts, trunk lids, you name it. The trim, all sorts of stuff. Oh, almost forgot. Didn't quite have room for this piece inside the truck bed, so uh, we roped it on at the very back of the load. <laughs> I know some of you will get a kick out of that. Some of you will be all offended that I, we would dare do that, but that's okay. Still have the 54 nose left. Sean's packing up a bunch of just random wheels and stuff that he wanted. He's going to take that with him, and then we'll set this up on top of all that stuff. He'll haul that for me, just because I just don't have enough room. If I was to go ahead and clean the back of my truck back out, put that in there, and then put all that small stuff back, we can make it fit, but... That's just a whole lot of extra work. He's gonna be coming up to the yard sometime anyway, so he can just bring it with him. It's looking a lot different over here. There's a bunch of stuff left. There might even be a few good things left in here, but it's mostly just scrap at this point in time, and we're about worn out, so everything remaining is gonna get left behind. He'll set an iron box in here and gather all this up in his tractor and throw it in there, and it'll go to the scrap yard. Like I say, there's probably a few good pieces left, but we got most of the goodie out of it. We are done. It looks radically different than what it did before, that's for sure. For sure. I'm not sure what's holding what's left of the house up. <laughs> There's a good strong wind out of the uh, north and it's going to fall over, I'm sure. And welcome back. It is Monday morning now. I'm back at the yard with this. I'm going to get it unloaded. I'm not going to unload the actual trailer for now. I'm just going to take the whole box, I mean, and set it off to the side. I'll go through it again later. I try not to put anything super valuable in there. All the good small stuff I put in the back of my truck. At some point today, I'll take all that and I'll unload it in one of the uh, storage boxes I have out here. Like I said, I sold the Chevy front clip, the half ton, the 54. That got all my money back. And so I'll probably pick out a few of the more valuable pieces of the small pieces. Sell those real quick on eBay. That way I get a little bit of profit in my pocket. And then the rest of the stuff, I won't be in a hurry to sell it. Just as it sells, it can sell. It was definitely a ton of fun going through that building. It was a lot of work, a lot more work than I expected, but that's the name of the game sometimes. But I've got a crazy busy day today. It's going to get super hot, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what the favorite item that I found was. As always, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day wherever you are. And remember to get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you on the next one.